week on Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, Wade meets up with Bassmaster Elite Pro Angler Kelly Jordan to fish Camelot Bell. Kelly Jordan and I go back a long way. We've had a great opportunity to fish together many times. Not only is he a dear friend, he's a, he's a good uh, you know, friend in the industry as well. So when we get a chance to spend time on the water, it's always fun. And you're always going to learn something fishing with Kelly. I mean, Kelly is a world-renowned big bass specialist. Cut his teeth. Uh, fishing on, on Lake Fork and guiding there and then begin to grow into what's obviously been a very successful Bassmaster career. Uh, has won several times and is still competitive at many levels out there and will be for years to come. And so when Kelly got me the invite to come down to Camelot Bell, there was a lot of things that were intriguing to me. Number one, my past passion for being involved with fishing around bodies of water like this and the management aspects that go into them. I mean, I spent a lot of time years ago around Bob Lusk and, and uh, Mark McDonald in the early Pond Boss days. And these are guys that have, have really cut their teeth and showed the world a lot about pond management. And you know, as we got down to Camelot Bell and I began to do research, I knew I was going to a pretty special place where the goal was simply put, their going to grow big ones. It's the right habitat, it's the right management, and it's, it's strictly managing for that big fish. That's what Mr. Mike Frazier does here at Camelot Bell. He has one goal in mind, and that's growing super bass, having them in his lakes. He's got the skins on the wall to prove it, and he has done that, and I have been here fishing several times. <laughs> every time I get to come here, it's a treat, and I'll tell you what, truly, every cast you make could be that cast. It took a lot of, it took a lot of bait, it took a lot of uh, management, but uh, we're here now. And I take a lot of fish out. When we fish today, you're going to really be surprised at what you see on the way that you can manage a properly balanced pond that's not eaten up by predators. We're going to take out the fish, and we're going to manage the lake the way that everyone should be able to do. Wade and Kelly set out for the day under a hot and steamy sun to see if they can reap the rewards that Camelot Bell has to offer. Oh, yeah. You can wait, dig it. Oh, no, he's just mean. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he just mean, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> that's, that's a little old starter bass. <laughs> oh. Here, buddy. Oh, nice. <laughs> look how pretty they are. <laughs> See how they got blue on them? Look here, buddy. See that blue? That's awesome. Oh, that's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even got a made a cast yet. So we supposed to keep this size here and let them go? Yeah, that's them that's the man side. That's one he that's... sends on. I know. Look at that. Wow. It's just a little shore run a minute out here, isn't that something? Nice yeah. paper. Man, how strong was that bass? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna hurry up and get rigged. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I'll oh, absolutely love it. The Arctic Ice Tundra Series, capable of keeping your food frozen all day long. The Tundra Series is a portable, safe, and reusable alternative ideally suited to replace dry ice. Keep your food as frozen as the Tundra with the Tundra Series from Arctic Ice. There is no other sunglass product on the market like Amphibia. Optimized for life on water and land, Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities, and to float in water. See this? <sighs> no! Oh! I see them! On top of all this, Amphibia products are built to last, ensuring that they'll stand up to whatever you can dish out time and time again. No other sunglass product on the market offers the features and quality that we do. Amphibia Sports Sunglasses incorporate several new advances including maximum horizontal displacement lenses and a patented air cells that ensures every frame floats. In addition, Amphibia lenses are scratch resistant, 100% polarized, anti-reflective on both the inside and outside, water phobic and ANSI rated for protection. Amphibia Sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife for fishing. One cut and you're through, guys. Kind of like butter. Just 
like butter. Hunting. You can see it just took that right off. Camping or just carving up meat at the barbecue. You've got a sportsman in the family. They're gonna wanna have a Bubba Blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba Blade the perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba Blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. After your next successful fishing trip, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for catch with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the fishing trip at BradleySmoker.com. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Garmin, the power of simple. And by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Welcome back to Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. Wade and Kelly are fishing Camelot Bell, a 40-acre pond near Coolidge, Texas. You know, what's interesting to me is you can go to the best bodies of water in the nation, and, and Mother Nature's still going to play a big role whether you catch them or not. Very hot conditions uh, while Kelly and I are out on Camelot Bell, and with a wild northern cold front that came through at the same time. So that generally puts fish in a funky mood. Anytime you've got a high bluebird sky and you're fishing, I don't care what time of the year it is, the big ones tend not to bite. So as you go around fishing this type of conditions, you know, can we catch a double digit? That remains to be seen. They swim here, they definitely live here, but how we catch them and how we won't catch them remains to be seen. And so as you begin to break down a body of water, you've got to fish it the way your gut tells you, just like you would a big lake. You know, whether you're going to throw 10 inch worms trying to get big bites or whether you're going to throw small crankbaits. And, you know, as you determine those things and you begin to get bites, you kind of figure out from there what to throw, how to throw it, and what's going to pay off for you. They like hard stuff. Heck yeah. Get in. Get in he off the button with us? Nah, out in front of it. God, he smoked that sucker. That bait's so <laughs> far down in his mouth. Oh, you come a square bill now? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that bait. <laughs> <laughs> he ate it, did he? God. <laughs> That's what you call eating the bait right there. <laughs> I got his buddy right here. You got one too? Smack him, get him, Kelly. Nice one. He ain't not Go near as nice as yours. He's more of a junior variety. <laughs> Golly. He's a nice one. Wade's throwing a Spro shallow water crankbait. To learn more about SPRO, let's go to our Pro Staff Index, where professionals across the fishing industry inform you of the newest products on the market. Hey, John Cruz, professional bass angler here, and I'm gonna tell you about the SPRO Little John 50. That's the original bait that I designed for SPRO many years ago. I've got a lot of time on the water with this bait. It is one of my favorites. It's a finesse shallow running crankbait, meaning that the bait is uh, 50 millimeters long. It's about a half an ounce, but it's got a soft tungsten weight transfer system in it so you can make really long casts. Uh, and then it's got two sticky sharp Gamakatsu number no. five treble hooks on that bait. So you have really good hookups on that bait. And I like to fish it on lighter line, eight, 10 or 12 pound test at most. The lighter the line, the more action that bait's gonna have and the more fish you're gonna catch. He's heading the other way now. Stay away from that. Good one. Uh huh, that's a good one. Good. Oh, <laughs> right stay up over there. Stay over here. We're fixing to have to hit the button on him because he's going to give oh, us this shit right yeah. there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that is a good one. Well, he ate it too, didn't he? He did. I saw your line <laughs> jump from that too. <laughs> he's been caught before. 
Look at that. that. That's a nice one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> ah, so awesome right Sweet. there when they do that. <laughs> Sweet. Look out back here, Shalla. You told me you caught some square billing last time here. Right yeah, here, I've right? caught square billing and on. You know, it's always a good thing to mix up and there's a deep spot in the middle and that, yeah. that fish was out suspended. It's suspended in it. You called it though. You said throw right across there. Uh -huh. I learned a long time ago, if Kelly says throw somewhere, you better throw somewhere because if you don't, you're yeah, missing see, if a I was real smart, I would have done that though, not told you. But you're that. being nice, man. <laughs> is that what it is? You're getting I mean, older. I may not be that much. Five nice. years ago, you'd made the cast and said you need to throw right out there. About I said, man, flip buddy. that boat dock over there. <laughs> and I'm gonna, yeah. Exactly. It's awesome when you can get a fish that's, that's aggressive, that's strong to, to knock slack in your line, especially when it, you know, when it bites a, a you know, jig or a plastic worm or a yeah. crankbait, they knock. It's just there's I nothing better. There's up. no doubt you just had a bite, and it's probably going to be a big one. The effort just to keep up. I mean, he went towards <laughs> that brush pile, and then he, he went did. that way and jumped. I love it when them big ones jump like that. When we return, Wade and Kelly do one more day of fishing, and then Wade travels to Sabinal, Texas, to do some more pond fishing with his good buddy and former FLW Tour Pro, Mike Hawks. The Fisherman's Handbook crew trust Ranger boats to get them to and from their favorite spots on the water. Let's put your Ranger knowledge to the test. For the answer to this, or to find out more about Ranger Boats, visit MyDreamRig.com. Fish on! Come on, get together. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the myth of Ayani! The Angel High Performance Cooler, it's incredible! Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse! It's so freaking strong, so reliable, I just wanna boom! This silicone gasket's better than rubber! Why, hello there, are your basin sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh, let's hear Yeti do that! With Angel Coolers, it's official, the Yeti is busted! Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. Call me a fool for searching. Nessie doesn't want to be found. But I've got the new Garmin combo with the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. I can see Nessie's home and all the wee fish in crisp detail. I mean, look at it, look. It's, it's hard. Oh, 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 you are real. You do exist. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Ingle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Spro, 
sports professionals. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. And by Arctic Ice, bitterly cold. On their second day of fishing, the wind has picked up as a northern front has moved in. There's a big one. Big That's him. a big one. A big one. Get him, Wade. Do we have a net? I don't know how big he is, but he's going to be bigger than what we've got. Son. <laughs> Be a big, I may have snagged a freaking grass car. No, it's a freaking giant. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he just stained down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, God. Sweet. <laughs> There's a couple of them up yeah. on that flat this morning. That's what you're looking for. Look at how deep the girth is on that bass going down and square here. That's where they get their weight on this sucker. Wow. Yeah. We're fishing early here, it's you know, pretty early in the morning. And that fish probably was in a foot and a half or two feet of water. We're on the edge of the shelf and we're just trying to catch some up here running in. <laughs> there's the, there's the Crazy. damage there. Man, that's a hammer. <laughs> Gotta get him a drink. Hey Wade, mm -hmm. I think we pretty much determined now that they're not on the bottom at all this morning. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty at all. good with that Second decision. day at the front, and you, you're catching them out here left feet of water <laughs> on the square, wide enough the water. But uh, we know what we're dealing with today, and uh, you know it is what it is. We had our, our time to, to film this deal, and Wade's caught another one out here in the open water. <laughs> <laughs> Two on a square bill, and let's see. Nine foot of water. Nine point six feet of water. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they're suspended today. Is what we're trying to say. These Camelot bell strain are, are really awesome. And Mike showed me a bunch of things. The body shape of them is really cool. From here on, most fish it kind of really starts crumping, you know, kind of tapering in on on their body. On uh, most fish, his genetic bass, they have he calls it the U. They bring the girth back a lot farther than most bass. And uh, that's what makes them so big and heavy here. And they all have this beautiful coloration. A lot of them have uh, these blue flecks. You see little blue speckles in them. And he's told me about that before. They have gold on their back. A lot of Florida bass have that, but they have these aquamarine or blue. It's just really cool, iridescent. It's really a neat deal. I just, you don't see that very often. And most all of his bass have that in it. It's kind of like a trademark and they are mean bass. To book your dream fishing trip at Camelot Bell, visit camelotbell.com. After wrapping up his trip with Kelly Jordan, Wade's already on his way to another pond fishing destination. You know, the trip I'm getting ready to do now, I'm going with my old friend Mike Cox, and we're out by Sabinal, Texas. And this particular body of water is absolutely full of fish. He's fished it a couple times and talks about the numbers of bass that live here. And anytime you can throw out there and start catching them at, at, at almost will, that's exciting to me. And that's one of the best things you notice when you're fishing in a pond. The conditions here are we've got some storms in the area, a lot of grass in this lake. In fact, about half the lake we probably can't even get the ranger up into because it's grassed almost to the top. And, so we're gonna throw some frogs around. We're gonna throw some shallow water crankbaits around. We're gonna fish some fairly fast moving baits and just see how many reaction bites we can get. And if it's any evidence by the first few casts, we're gonna catch a lot. You don't wanna show us, Lil. Boy, it never gets old catching on this size, does it? I, I, you know, I don't, I don't care about catching big ones anymore. I've been lucky. I've caught so many big fish. I just like that but bite. I, I just soon really one like that so I can go out there and get another one. You know, I just love to feel the bite. Yep, the fall. And I don't even care what it is. Yep. Six the inches fall. or a bluegill or a bass. <laughs> right. Golly. You get hand, I heard that one hit. Was he on top? <laughs> yeah. Hit it? I mean, I, the boil out there was awesome. Oh, hey. unfortunately, he's right in the sun, isn't he? Yeah. He's Can't see nothing. Skiing in. We blasted it. We get down that way and start back. We'll catch some sand. 
I like that last one you caught. Mm. He just crushed it. Some of the here. littlest ones have the biggest bite. Yeah, I'm telling you. If you want to activate the bass, you better have a hydro wave. You've got six different bait fish sounds, you run it at any volume, you can see them actually come up to the speaker of the hydro wave. You can watch them come up off the bottom. When you're fishing deep, the hardest one to catch is always the first one. With the hydro wave, you get them going fast. Hydro wave, I won't fish without it. CA Richardson here for Power Pole, where every shallow water anchor is designed and tested to be extremely quiet. How quiet? Let's take a look. Hey guys. Great work, guys. Don't slam the door. Power Pole, deadly silent to help you catch more fish. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power. Mirage Performance. Mirage Drive. Hobie. Enjoy the ride. From bass and walleye to crappie in the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's engineered to excel and priced to be yours. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United There's, States. That's a tote. Sunline Super Fluorocarbon with strength to guarantee your confidence. Yamaha VMAX SHO, the game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. Wade's fishing a small, heavy grass-filled pond in South Texas with former FLW Tour Pro, Mike Hawks. You know, Mike is a guy that really understands ecosystems. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a former touring pro in the FLW. He's a biology teacher. He's got a lot of passion for the outdoors and a lot of experience both on the, the hunting and the fishing side. So when he talks about, you know, what happens in a pond and how they break down, it's, it's definitely something that's always very interesting to hear because he puts them in words and terms that are very easy to understand that you can take out to, to about anybody of water and be successful. The great thing about fishing a pond is they got to be right there. They can't go anywhere. You don't need a big, fast boat. You don't have to run all over the place. If you're fishing that pond and there's fish in it, they're right in front of you. And you, you can stay really basic. You know, most, most places you go, a topwater bait, a spinner bait, plastic worm. If you stay with those three right there, you got it made. The, the variables that'll be in the pond will be the water color. And if it's clear like this one is, in the summertime, you're gonna have tons of grass. Okay, and that grass makes it very difficult to fish in the summer. It provides great habitat for the fish. Actually, it provides too much cover because the bait fish then can hide from the bass too well and the bass actually get kind of skinny in the summertime. And then in the wintertime, when the grass all dies out, they fatten up. So really the best time to fish one of these ponds is not in the summertime, it's in the wintertime during deer season. But you know what happens during deer season on a ranch in South Texas. That's usually not an option. There he is. Right there in that hole. Yeah. I got a little too close to it. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> 
Yeah. I, there was another one just swam, swam off the other way. Oh, get off there, fish. Don't jump up there and get Mike. He tried. <laughs> this is pond fishing at its, it's best. best. That's right. This this is Fishing's supposed to be fun, you know. It's not supposed to be one of those deals where you got to go out there and sweat. Yep. I agree. I'm gonna have to change all day long. You're trying to get two bites and that garbage. This makes it fun when you can just throw out there and catch them. You know, these are fun bass. This is what you think of when you think of a private pond somewhere that yep. not getting the pressure. You're just gonna get a lot of bites. I'll put a hey. ribbit on. Got him. He's not bad either. He, I didn't think he's very big when he hit it. Junky. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fun there. Start catching them on frogs and everything else. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at what type of frog Wade's throwing. Fisherman's Handbook presents End of the Line, the gear you need to get the big one tugging on the end of your line. It's Pro Pro, Dean Rojas here. Man, I love to frog, and you know it as well as I do. I love to frog on tour or when I'm just fun fishing. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I want to talk to you about our Bronze Eye 60 Poppin' Frog. It's something that we designed at the same time uh, when we designed our original Bronze Eye Frog. They were both in conjunction with each other. We wanted a popper style bait, a chugger, and then we want something that was going to walk and to, you know, spit a little bit and basically, you know, cover, come through the water very, very easily. But the popping frog is, is, has been a, an exceptional bait. Uh, I was able to win a tournament on it up at Lake Lake Oneida. Uh, it's become a very important part of my arsenal um, of frog fishing. And I, and right now it's, it's getting to the point where more people are, are enjoying the popping frog craze because it's a bait that anybody can use. It's, it's very easy to, to work on the, on the surface of the water. You get a lot of bites on it. Uh, it has the same attributes as the Bronze I-65. It's weedless. You can throw it anywhere you want. It's not going to get hung up. But the cool part about it is just a popping frog. All you got to do is chug it and make it spit water. Um, the bait itself is a little bit narrower than our Bronze Eye. Uh, it carries a 3 aught Gamagatsu super line hook. We've got over 20 colors in the, in the Pop and Frog, all the great styles. And it's a bait that I just love to fish. And it's something that's caught on through worldwide. It just shows you that you know the baits that we create are excellent, a good quality, and they catch a lot of fish. You know, pond fishing is something we're actually going to focus on a, another episode here of Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook because it's something that's very important that a lot of people spend a lot of time uh, doing. You know, we, we put our big ranger in the Camelot Bell, we put our little aluminum boat here into the uh, lakes out by Savinal, we're going to go kayak fishing, and we're going to walk around the bank in some future episodes and clips that you'll see on this year's show. So. Be sure and stay tuned to future episodes, especially if you're intrigued and interested in all the different styles, all the different ways, and all the different things that you can do when it comes to fishing small bodies of water and even learning a little bit more about how to manage them and how to best catch fish from them. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. For any of the products seen used on today's show, visit cabelas.com. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some casting lessons here in a minute too. Thank you, sir. I might need some. I should have known that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you it know, always does when you, <laughs> when you do that. Job. <laughs> you ever fished before, Wade? Everybody's very serious right now because we're all quiet. You think we're gonna catch one? Obviously. Yeah. It's this like deer the, hunting. Guaranteed. It's like deer hunting. Yeah. Nobody say anything. <laughs>